Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about Calric once again, but this time my team is geared. <laughs> I've been trying to do Abyss, uh, trying to get some materials for him. I want to get some Moras as well, uh, Molagoras as well for him, because I don't really have anything. So uh, right now, uh, that's basically it. I kind of want to reforge all these pieces that have some speed in there. I kind of want to get close to getting uh, 230 speed. I think I'll get pretty close with the, with the gear I have currently. So uh, yeah, that's what I want to do with him right now. And we're going to use uh, him more in RTA. So basically, as you saw by my last video, uh, the, the comp is basically, I replaced Luluka for Kaorik. But honestly, right now Kaorik is on Time Matter, just because I think he's pretty good on Time Matter, because um, I'm pretty sure you can do S2 into S3 into S2 again, which is nice. But at the same time, I don't really want Kaorik to um, survive that long. So I honestly, I think I'm going to swap him to Tagahels. And uh, yeah, that's basically going to be it. So the comp is going to be... DJ Basar, Horado, Blingo, Emma Luluka, and Kaorik. So I'm going to skip the drafts, and we're only going to do the fights on this video. Here we go, here's the draft. He bans my extinction unit because he picks Arby, but honestly, I think it's going to be more than fine. Uh, I'm going to try to reset this Alencia so my, my Blingo can go ham, but the second turn will not be super easy because of the defense buff from my boy... Um, from my boy... Um, Kral. So I do need to reset this girl. I don't have enough souls, so as I said, I'm probably going to swap him to Taga Hells because I think it's better. Even though he doesn't help the damage, once he's reforged, I'm pretty sure he's going to have enough damage to do most things. So I think it's going to be fine. So for now, that's going to be it. We're going to try to reset this Alencia, but I have legit 0% effectiveness. I mean, she doesn't have 100% effect resistance, for sure, but I still have 0% effectiveness. So let's see if we can actually reset. We reset two turns. Hey, <laughs> that's all you need, really. And now we go super ham with our good old boy. We protect Kaurik so we can cleave next turn. That's basically it. Hopefully they all survive. The defense buff is going to be pretty annoying, but then again, Kaurik penetrates a bit of defense, which makes it pretty good. Um, and this Alencia cannot strip us, and that's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to use a unit like this. Oh, that's really bad. How did he survive? Oh no. Actually, I think it's going to be mostly okay. Because Kaurik is about to go. Because he gets boosted, because with, with attack buff, apparently now he has more than Blingo. So that's actually pretty good. They hit my Harado. Okay. This is actually fine. Uh, Kaurik sacrifices for the greater good, but he takes with him two people. So that's really good. Krau and SSB should survive, but I crit, uh, I crit Ice, so I guess that's happened too. Um, honestly, I'm okay at this point. I'm more than okay at this point, actually. He doesn't have Soul Burn, doesn't have Greater Attack buff, my Blingo is protected, and my Blingo could have soloed this. Right now, my Blingo could have soloed it, so it's fine. They all die, and my Blingo will have to solo it. But my Blingo has Idle Shear, so if he gets hit, it's GG. Uh, I think this guy is having a bit of a bad connection issue. Okay, thankfully, I don't get countered by the, the, the this girl, and I'm actually going to loop her. It's not even loop, it's lap. I'm going to lap her. That's what. There you go, I lapped her, and honestly, she does a lot of damage, so she should die. She didn't die, but also, she's not going to kill my Blingo. Even though my Blingo is very squishy, not going to kill it. Unless she does. Uh-oh. Maybe I, maybe I misspoke. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind, we're good. <laughs> it's still going to be an SSB. It's still going to be an SSB, guys. It's uh, Her damage is not crazy enough to kill a DPS from S3. It's never going to be. She's not attack buffed. It's not going to happen, okay? <laughs> I'm telling this to myself, by the way, because I kind of monk s a little bit there. So let's move on to the next fight. And my next opponent disconnected, so let's look for another. Here we go, next draft for the next team. Uh, honestly, I don't want my Kaurik to get banned, because <laughs> it's the only thing I have to deal with uh, with um, Alencia. So it's going to be pretty bad instead. Uh, honestly, I think he goes for the Amalulika because he last picked the Tisurin. So I think he's going to go for the Amalulika no matter what. I think. I mean, that's the cool part about having Emma Luluka. She is very, very strong, and a lot of people are scared of her. 
but they go for Harado. Okay. That's interesting. I, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna need to reset this, uh, this Alencia for sure. If I don't, I can, I, I can only snipe her. But if I get the reset, I'm not gonna snipe her. If I get the reset, I'm just gonna go for the Tisurin. I got one turn reset, which is good. I'm gonna protect the Kaurik. I don't have Soul Burn. If I had Tagahels again, on, I would have burned here, which would, which would have been nice. Honestly, I am protected by immunity and most of my units are protected. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go for the reset. So I'm gonna go kill this Alencia right here. Ne next turn, I can always kill the Tissurin, so it's fine. There we go, we get that extinction, that's gonna give us the extra turn. Next turn, we just go, ham. And he's forced to boost me right now. There you go, so that, that Tissurin is getting closer and closer to being a dead Tissurin. Actually, it's not close, it's, it's a dead Tissurin. It's just dead now. I'm pretty sure that dual attack I got with the, with the stun was lucky. Oh! It's not a dead Tissurin, but it's about to be. She's not dead, but she's dead now, but she... I, I missed the second attack on her. There you go, a little bit of a fat damage. And now we go for Blingo Cleave. And that's the power of 3 DPSs, really. Honestly, my goal is to, in the end, manage to have 240 speed on Kaurik with as much DPS as possible. That's my dream, it's to have 240. I don't think I need anything faster than that, but 240 is a, it's a good disrupting uh, speed, right? So uh, I think it's just gonna be better. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna put Kaurik on, on, on Tagahals right now. Let me just do that. Here we go, in, tr in terms of C CP, he doesn't change at all, uh, which is pretty good, but honestly, Time Matter is interesting. I kind of want to use uh, Time Matter because I wanted to one-shot a unit and then when I got my ultimate, it would have the proc up and it would deal more damage. But honestly, it's kind of pointless because I never really use it to kill anyone. I use them to reset mostly and I use them to just soften up units. So I don't really need it. I, I rather have the utility of, uh, of having souls and that's just better. So let's do one last fight and, uh, and let's finish off the video. Here we go, last opponent, LR Crow main. So I'm probably gonna have to face a tank comp because no one really runs uh, ML Crow as I would uh, in a cleave. <laughs> I would run ML, ML, Crow like, ML, ML Crow like I run my haste just to soften up. It's a good soften up unit. It ignores the fence and you know, does a bunch of damage. So also a good immunity buffer. So I would just speed tune my teams, take off uh, DJ Basar and then boom. Have him in there just for the good old damage. All right, so we're gonna go for a little bit of a good old one of these and one of those. And let's see what my opponent goes for. Honestly, I saw an A Taiwan. Uh oh. That's already a banned target right there. And that's another, so uh, that's gonna be pretty interesting to fight. I'm still gonna stick with the same draft. Probably gonna lose, but uh, still gonna stick with the same draft. I'm, uh, there's no way I back down from from a fight, even though he's gonna outspeed the shit out of me. It's I'm okay. I'll be fine. Oh, is he giving up on on the counter cleave? I think is I think he doesn't know what to pick. I think he's gonna pick in between. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, maybe it's a oh no, but hopefully I outspeed this Basar. If the Basar outspeeds me, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm very I'm very much gonna lose if Basar outspeeds me, but um, should be okay, I should be okay. 270 right now on my Horado should be okay. It's barely okay, but barely okay in my book, still okay. So <laughs> I'm not gonna burn because I'm pretty scared of this uh, of this boy. So I'm gonna go like this. There we go. We give them the little good old shields. And now uh, I think the highest attack is my Emma Lulica. So my Emma Lulica is gonna die, which is not good. It's definitely not good. And Emma Lulica is. 
She's dead. I don't have protection. I do have plenty of soul burns. But I don't have protection. So I'm just going to try to kill her. Which I didn't do. Shall we bring this to a close? I wonder if I get enough CR from this. Vigibasar, actually, uh, Blingo was a pretty good ban because it bans no Blingo and it bans the the Kaurik as well. Because Kaurik is not going to do much without Blingo because I can't guarantee a second turn to Kaurik, right? Or maybe he can. I don't have attack buff, but I should do a little bit of damage here. There's a lot. Er, there's a lot of Earth units, so there is a little bit of damage. But now he's dead, and now someone else is dead, and now he's, he's just gonna pop off. <laughs> and now he's just gonna pop off. Uh, it's it's basically GG. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm gonna go back to my defense breaking. Uh, I'm I'm gonna use Kyrick sometimes. I'm I definitely will use him. He's a he's a very good unit, but um, the lack of defense break on this comp is it's crushing, right? If I, if I had my normal comp, even if they banned Blingo, I would have Defense Break and I would be able to Soul Burn my uh, Luluka into Basar, kill Basar, and probably kill someone else. So, yeah, I mean, Selene is a pretty bad matchup for DPS comps, though, because if you ban one DPS and then, you know, you use Selene, you basically kill the other B DPS, because Selene is pretty busted right now. Uh, and it's pretty hard to bait her uh, on a comp with normal units, right? If it was just my Blingo in there, uh, it's really, really easy to bait because it goes on my DJ Passar because it has attack. But yeah, overall, uh, that comp I could never beat because it, I would ban Selene, but I would, ne I would never be able to outspeed the AC and then I would have lost that way. So honestly, <laughs> I could never have, have won this one. But that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, it's fun. I like Kyrie Kalak. I'm going to plus 15 him. I'm going to completely upgrade him, max him out his gear, try to get him to two, 240 speed. Uh, and then hopefully I'll make a video when he's completely finished and you guys will enjoy it, uh, that video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.